Hi guys, Dylan here with Imperium42. I'm here to show you a little bit about UNet for matchmaking, specifically the lobby. In 5.3 and above, uh, there's a specific new schema, and for some reason, Unity isn't using any of the new documents, any of the new demos for it. I'm sure they'll catch up soon because usually their demos are incredible, also their API docs. But for now, let me show you a basic setup. Let me show you the flow. So here I just made a completely new project, kept it simple. I have a big matchmaker button. MM button doesn't do anything right now. Then we have lobby manager. I just made a new component. So I have this script I just made. It's a little skeleton I'll show you very shortly. So if I open that here. Uh, one big thing, you use unityengine.networking. Then you derive it from network lobby manager. And here's just a skeleton. We have start, you don't need update for now. Uh, maybe for a countdown timer later, count up rather. Uh, mm start, mm list matches, join match, create match. So here's pretty much the order that we're going to do to get straight into it. We're going to start. We're going to list matches. And then that's what's going to happen at the very beginning. So normally you would press the matchmaking button and I'd throw an event to start it at, maybe mm start. But just for testing purposes and to get things started because you know how to make events. Let's just put it in start. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is let's just see where we are. List matches, join match, create match. Logs are good, so let's use this. Okay, so that's start. I like to use this because for IntelliSense it makes it easier, narrows things down, but you don't actually need to put this. So this dot start matchmaker. And that sort of spins up everything so that uh, you can use the matchmaker commands like uh, this dot matchmaker dot whatever. After matchmaker is spun up, you know, maybe we'll do something and start later on. So let's list the matches. Um, what we're going to do is this dot matchmaker dot list matches and whoa that's a lot it's page number we're gonna start at page zero the first page result page size so how many pages do you want to go through it might take longer if you put a higher number let's say 20 pages of results filter uh, you can actually use wildcards here so if you want to filter certain games you can do that but this is just basic let's see do we want to filter out private matches? Yeah, if it's private, we don't want to show it. But uh, for most matchmakers, you won't have private anyway. ELL score, we're not using ELL for this, so zero. Request domain, these are like dimensions, so uh, they have to all be in the same. You can do zero, one, two, three, whatever. We're gonna use zero, everything's zero. Uh, and then finally the callback. So we're going to use the override, which is match on match list there we go done okay so let's override this public override void on match list oh how come on match list so make sure you do it with IntelliSense because it'll fill out all the parameters for you and then in case you forget it'll also add base okay so we want to know we're here Okay, so pretty much it'll handle the basic tasks and you get success. Extended info only shows if there's an error. So we want to do if not success, then uh, this failed. Extended info. Else, victory. So actually this it matches. First match is it's a list, so we can just do match list zero. So success actually just means we got the list back for you, but the list might be zero, so let's check for that. So if match list dot count is greater than zero, then you're good to go. Else to do. Create match. So let's handle this really quick. Okay, so 
A match is there. So let's join the first match. So what we'll do is mm join match. Remember that empty skeleton we made earlier? Join match. So here we have create match. Let's replace it to do since it's blank anyway. Clean it up, make it look all pretty. Sure. So the first thing that we're going to do is join match. But how do we know which match? So we want this match list. In fact, we don't just want the match list. We want this. We want the first match. So let's call it... What's the result? It's called a match info snapshot. So match info snapshot first match. So then we come back here and we do just that. Just copy this. We have the first match here, array zero. So now let's join match. We have this. Oh, dot matchmaker. Join match. And it's sort of similar. They have tons of different things. So it's asking for net ID. You're probably like, what is that? It's okay. First match dot net work ID. Net. Match password. No passwords in matchmaking. Client address. Uh, usually you can leave it blank, but if you're curious, you could do network dot. Uh, I forgot how to do that one. I'll show you later. We don't actually need it. But uh, that's good in case uh, you want to reconnect later. Let's say you want to ban someone. Cross domain, remember that zero? You put a one, it's gonna not show anything. Okay, so we have callback. On match joined. This is the one. Now let's make our callback. Public, override, void. There it is. I'm just gonna press enter. Fills out everything for you. We want to know we're here. So if not success, failed to join match. We have the extended info that only shows if it fails, right? Else, the match is created. So let's just say successfully joined match. And let's get the ID. Match info. Uh, network ID. This is unique. This is also how you can... I haven't actually done it yet, but I'm pretty sure this is how friends can join. You give them the network ID. Okay. So let's see what we got so far. You start the game. It starts matchmaking. Afterwards, we list the matches. It'll list up to 20 pages. No ELL, no anything. The callback will be at on match list. We can tell if it's successful, the error message, and info about the match. This is an ar not necessarily an array, but it's a list. Okay, so if it's not successful, say that we failed. Otherwise, if the count of the list is greater than zero, meaning there's at least one result, we have a successful match. So we join the match. Which match? The very first one, array zero. So we jump down here, we're at join match. We join the match. Which one? The ID we provided. No password, same dimensions, same everything. It gets called back. Is it successful? No, then show the extended info. Otherwise, we join the match. Which match? This one with this network ID specifically. Success, this is good, this is the end point. Okay, so earlier we create a match if the match list dot count is zero. So what we do is this matchmaker create match. So match name, I'll just call it mm. Match size, say 15. Match advertise, true. We want others to see this match, right? No password. Remember, we could skip the address. We could skip the address, ELO zero, the request domain, dimension zero, and the callback. 
Same thing. Type in on create on match create. Let IntelliSense do its job. Okay, so now let's override. Public override create. And it'll just pop up. Oh, there's a few. So on match create, this is the one. And you'll notice they keep sticking to the schema of success, extended info, and then this is usually a little bit different, but pretty related. Okay, debug log, let's show that we're here. Okay, created the match. If it's not successful, what do we do? Failed, show the extended info, okay. Else, this is the final endpoint as well, for now. We successfully created match. Match info dot network ID. It's the same thing here. And that's it. You have your basic setup. <laughs> so that's for the code anyway. So we go back. Okay. So now we have some stuff here. All right. So we're going to leave most of the defaults, but we need, we need lobby scene and that's this scene. So if you didn't already save the scene, and then you go to your build settings, add open scenes. This is game, but usually you would call it lobby. And then um, we need to make a new scene. This is gonna be actually in game. So save scene as, let's call it in game. This is post game after the game already starts. Add it to the build settings. Okay, so game is first, in-game is second. This is very important. You won't be able to drop in these scenes if it's in the wrong order. Okay, so now we go back to our lobby. All right, we have lobby scene. That's the scene, right? Game, you should call it lobby. Okay, in-game. All right, max players. Uh, sure, four. You can change that. Max players per connection. This means that the same computer can join one time. I don't know if that means for LAN. There, it's actually sort of vague in the docs, to be honest. And there's currently a bug where you can join your own game. Let's say you host a game, you leave it, you go back matchmake, you'll join your old game by default, and then it'll idle out, kick you off. So just a heads up. Minimum players to start. And so let's say you want two players to start. All right, there's two more things we need to do for the core lobby. We have the lobby player prefab. So let's make that. Create this, call it lobby player. Easy enough. Add components. It's actually called network lobby player, so it's pretty straightforward. So this, this adds an identity, um, but it's specifically for the lobby. And it adds a show lobby GUI. And this is really important because once you join, you'll see the players and you can have a ready button. You can remove yourself and add it back just for testing. Then we want game player. This shouldn't be childhood like that. Okay, so now we add a network identity. This is for your in-game. Okay, I click save. What we need to do is save these as prefabs. And you should organize this better than me. This is just for demo purposes. Okay, we go back to the lobby manager. Game player goes to game player, right? Lobby player, lobby player. Okay, so there's one more thing. Here it is, network manager HUD. This makes it so you sort of know what's going on. You can test it a little bit instead of pressing the matchmaking button. But everything starts at start, remember? So. Let's just click play and see what happens. Let's check out the logs. We're at start. We list the matches. List match is successful. All right, so we're at on match list. List failed because of invalid project setup. Please verify the setup. So what this means is you need to go to your cloud services. You may already have a project. You can create a new one. I don't actually want to link this. But usually once you log in, there's a section at the bottom called multiplayer. 
You click that, it'll launch a browser and you can set up your multiplayer. You actually need to specifically set it up per project. And only then will this work. So then after that, you build the game and you start it and it should work. Anyway, uh, there's more to do after that, uh, like readying up and the docs for that are very minimal and I'm currently working on it too and I don't have it perfect, but if you guys want to, I'll post a guide later when I get it right. If you like this tutorial, please support our game on Kickstarter, January 9th, Throne of Lies, the online game of lies and deceit, for PC. Thanks a lot.